Hey guys, Joey with Tactical Response here. Thanks for watching. What I have for you today is I'm gonna to talk to you a little bit about backup guns. Make sure you guys watch until the very end so you can figure out how you might be able to win a, a spot in this coming up weekend's backup gun class. What is a backup gun? The backup gun simply is your second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth gun, <laughs> if you're crazy about it, right, that you have on you. It is your other gun that you have that can be readily put to use if needed. And James talks about it in our mindset lecture. And you guys know me as being the guy that said, hey, <laughs> None of that really is why I carry a backup gun. I carry a backup gun to arm another person. And I started this when I was a police officer arming off-duty police officers. And I thought, you know, if something happens, my young daughters at the time, they could shoot, but they weren't really operators. So if something happened, I could hand one of them a gun, stick them in a closet. Same with my wife if we're out and she's wearing nice clothes. She doesn't want to wear a gun. So I could arm my wife. So for me, the best backup gun is the gun that my wife and adult daughters now, if, if, if necessary, could shoot. These are mechanical devices, they can fail, and if your primary gun goes down hard, then it's quicker to go to a backup gun. Remember guys, if a tap rack doesn't fix it, then reload your gun. And if a reload doesn't fix it, draw your other gun. <laughs> Optimally, your backup gun should be in a position where you can draw it one-handed with your off hand. So you can keep your primary gun in your strong hand, right? Or your primary hand. With the ankle carry the way I do it, it's on my left ankle. So tough to draw left-handed, one-handed for sure. Uh, and one of the issues that you run into is that if you try to pull your pants leg up, just like any other car cover garment with one hand, you're gonna run in, you could run into issues where it snags and you're losing time that way. So for me, what I like to try to do is if I have time to reholster my primary gun, I will before I go to my cover garment. If the situation does not allow for me to feel like I have that time, then I'm just gonna drop the gun that's in my primary hand, get down with both hands, remove the cover garment, and, and draw my backup gun. So just to give you guys a quick demonstration of what that looks like, here we go. When you're under stress and you're trying to draw the gun, if you fumble the draw, just drop it. Um, it. It is quicker to draw your backup gun instead of fumbling around on the ground, trying to pick it up. You know your luck, you're gonna kick it. When you bend over to, to pick it up, you're gonna kick it over into the bad guy's hands, right? So um, absolutely something to consider. And then this hand could be busy. It could be injured or it could be busy. Um, we talk about it in the in our fighting pistol class when it pertains to off-handed shooting. It's about 100 reasons why you should carry a backup gun, so now you don't have a reason not to. Um, but let's talk about a little bit about why or what we're looking for when it comes to carrying a backup gun. Can you access it, again, can you access it with either hand and how easily can you do that? Um, how quick is it to draw, right? And then, can you keep control of your other of your primary gun? So can the pri your primary gun stay in your primary hand? Because we don't want to leave guns lying around. At the end of the day, um, we want to maintain control of them. Just because it was a, a mechanical issue that you couldn't fix right then, if you just drop the gun and leave it, uh, the bad guys could figure it out. You guys know we don't do diagnostic gun handling, but if it is some type of major malfunction, just because you didn't have the time to clear it doesn't mean that the bad guys can't pick it up later and figure it out themselves. If you're in a position like I am, where my backup gun is on my left ankle, I cannot, can't say, I don't want to say cannot, it is tough for me to draw it one-handed with my left hand and all that good stuff. So you need to find time to either reholster it, shove it in a pocket, make sure that you're taking it with you, preferably behind a piece of cover.
If you guys are interested in learning more about backup guns, today this video is released on April 28th, and on May 6th we have a one-day backup gun class. If you're interested in trying to earn a spot in that class, here's what we're going to do. First, uh, first off, all I need from you is over the weekend of April 29th and 30th, just tag Tactical Response uh, on Instagram or Facebook, whatever your social media platforms are, in a video of you either A, drawing your backup gun and, and practicing with it on the range, or even if it's just dry practice. Tag us in it. And then what we're going to do on Wednesday, Wednesday next week's live stream, so that would be on, on uh, let's see, that would be what, May 3rd, we will announce the winner, or I'll tell you what, instead of May 3rd, <laughs> to give you guys some time, we'll do May 1st, the following Monday. May 1st, we will announce the winner. We'll do a random, whoever tagged us, we'll sign you a random number, do a random number generator, and whoever wins first place will get a free spot in the class. Second place will get 50% off of the class, and then third place will get $100 off of the class. So if you're interested in trying to get some, some quality training in and getting some good reps in with your backup gun, remember, tag us in any video of you using your backup gun either on the range, actually shooting it, or even if it's just dry practice you have over the weekend, guys. I hope that, that we I see a bunch of posts of people getting some reps in. This all started from a student in a fighting pistol class talking to me about backup guns, and I realized that I had not gotten much practice in myself, so I've been making it a, a routine to get some good reps in myself. So that's what we got for you. Remember, guys, your responsibility to be ready for the fight never ends.